The ongoing effects of the pandemic continue to impact the air travel industry, and this comes as travel demands in our area are much higher than expected. Mason City, for example, is in the early stages of revitalizing its airport. Noah Kaplan explains. I grew up in Mason City, so the Mason City Airport's always been a part of our life. For many, small town flying is just easier. Some airlines are cutting flights, but at least in Mason City, there is no shortage of passengers. I know that um, when businesses look for, you know, locations, they're always interested in transportation, and this is certainly an asset and a part of, uh, you know, the growth of this area. Mason City Municipal is ahead of the game. According to the airport manager, the expectation was that by 2036, there would be flights with up to 50 passengers. There are two flights like that round trip daily now. Since the introduction of United Express service to Chicago and the uh, recovery from the COVID-19 pandemic, we are seeing a major increase in demand for tra travel out of Mason City. Um, a, a good trip out of here is to go to Chicago for the weekend and it's marketed quite well and um, that's a, off, often popular for women. If you look around um, the United States, you know, securing an airport in your area is really critical. The airport is making moves to accommodate. It has three different proposals to update the facility. Two of them are major remodels. The third option is to build an entirely new building. Funding for any new project will be provided through the Federal Aviation Administration. It just, it's just nice to have an airport in northern Iowa where we can get north and south and east and west. And worldwide airline losses from the pandemic are set to surpass $200 billion.